Hello, let's take a look at the weather across Europe now. And we're seeing high temperatures holding on for parts of Finland and much of Eastern Europe as well. Meanwhile, we've had some showers develop. You can see here on the satellite image this zone of cloud here moving across southern France, the Alpine region too. We'll continue to see those downpours pushing eastward. So Switzerland, Austria towards Croatia, seeing some heavy downpours on Tuesday, and that's stretching northwards up towards Poland as well. To the east of that, warm weather holding on for the likes of Ukraine, Turkey as well, temperatures above average, warm and dry across Greece and much of Italy, but you can see the downpours there for Croatia and parts of the Balkan Peninsula. For Spain and Portugal, one or two showers around, but nothing too heavy on Tuesday, a lot of dry settled weather, plenty of sunshine for France, fairly cloudy across the UK, for Norway and for Sweden, cooler than it has been, windier too with the arrival of some fairly showery and unsettled weather there. So a similar picture into Wednesday, lots of dry settled weather for central areas, some heavy rain pushing across eastern parts of Europe, bringing the temperature down there as well, but hotting up across parts of Spain and Portugal. Temperatures on the rise for London and for Paris as we look towards the weekend. Madrid should be losing those showers, looking largely dry for much of the week ahead, as does Rome as well. Berlin seeing one or two showers over the next few days, some heavy downpours around for Moscow. Bye-bye. Hello. We're seeing a real contrast in temperature across portions of North America at the moment. It's particularly hot across Alaska and the north and northwest of Canada and also through some of the central states as well. But cooler air moving in from the west and we've got low pressure here, which is pushing its way across the upper plains and midwest heading towards the Great Lakes. So around the Canada-US border, we're set to see some severe storms. Main threat is some large hail and potentially damaging winds in places. Further south, a lot of dry hot weather through central areas, but then we've got more showers down towards the south. So starting off across Alaska into British Columbia, that heat continuing in the north, but cooler air spreading in with the arrival of these showers for southern parts of British Columbia into Washington state, Oregon, and down towards California. So some showers around in the north and that cooler air just pushing its way south. So for many of the cities towards the west, you'll notice the temperatures coming down a notch over the next couple of days, mostly dry for the likes of Los Angeles. Meanwhile, towards the northeast, largely dry from Montreal towards New York, some sunshine and warm weather around on Monday. By the south, we're going to be seeing some showers for southern parts of the Carolinas, down towards Georgia, Florida, in towards Louisiana as well. So it could be the other thunderstorm around there. So here's how things are looking, turning warmer in New York, some showers and thunderstorms in Miami. Bye-bye. Hello. Hurricane Bonnie is in the eastern Pacific at the moment. It's going to be staying over open waters, but bringing some big waves and some heavy showers to southern Mexico. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Further south across South America, and we've got an area of heavy rain that's lingering around Uruguay through Monday into Tuesday as well. That's dividing pretty warm air to the north of that. Temperatures well above average for Paraguay to cooler conditions further south unsettled for southern parts of Chile with some heavy rain and mountain snow and further north across the continent we're seeing some heavy showers across parts of Colombia, Venezuela and northern Ecuador as well. Largely dry through central and southern parts of Brazil and temperatures above average here and particularly for Paraguay as well but then we're back into that area of cloud, rain and cooler conditions for Uruguay and northern Argentina. Wet and windy weather further south across Chile. Rio de Janeiro looking largely dry and settled over the next few days. Buenos Aires also largely dry and you'll notice those temperatures are going to be rising later on this week. Now here is Hurricane Bonnie sitting out towards the southeast of Mexico, still bringing some large waves around the south coast and we could see about three inches of rainfall over the next 24 hours or so for southern parts of Mexico. So some heavy downpours there and into parts of the Caribbean, more scattered showers building through the day. So the outlook is a fairly showery one for Havana for the next five days or so, but things stay mostly dry, I think, in Kingston. Bye-bye. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather across Africa and the Middle East. And it's a little drier than average through much of Central Africa. But you can see on the satellite image, we have got some shower cloud here. And particularly towards the west, that is producing some bursts of heavy rain. For the likes of Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana as well. Further south, a lot of dry weather down towards South Africa. But for Cape Town, a relatively cool air mass. So temperatures only around about 16 degrees or so on Tuesday. A few showers working in through the middle part of the week. North Africa, meanwhile, pretty hot towards Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia. Not as hot as it has been for Libya, though.
So here's the outlook and in Cape Town then it remains fairly cool for the next few days. A few showers around at times and then turns warmer once again towards the end of the week into the weekend too. Khartoum hot and dry with temperatures around the 40 degree mark. Casablanca seeing those temperatures picking up later on in the week. Now across the Middle East, we've had brisk Shamal winds over the past few days. They're going to continue on Tuesday from the northwest, but not quite as strong. So the wind's tending to ease through the day, but we are still seeing some lifted sand and some dust as well. And towards Oman, some heavy rain for Muscat possible at times, just pushing in off southern parts of Iran. So we could well see some cooler and showerier weather persisting there. So Muscat, a little bit cooler, a bit more cloud around there, but warming up for Dubai, Riyadh and Kuwait. Bye-bye. Hello. The monsoon rains are going to continue to be heavy across many central parts of India over the next few days. You can see on the satellite image the massive cloud that we've got with us at the moment. The west coast also seeing plenty of heavy downpours and we could see some localised flooding, particularly for the likes of Madhra Pradesh, for instance, where we're seeing several days of ongoing heavy rain. So through Monday night and on into Tuesday, then plenty more heavy downpours. We've got that southwesterly wind driving in the rain around the west coast, also up towards Pakistan and across to southern parts of Iran as well. Some particularly heavy downpours here. It's been relatively cold across parts of Central Asia, but actually those temperatures moderating, warming up more typical for the time of year into the middle of the week. Some heavy showers across the mountains of Afghanistan, Pakistan as well, down towards Karachi, 35 degrees here. The temperature's a little below average across this part of the world with the arrival of that heavy rain. Plenty of heavy rain for central and western parts of India as well. A little bit drier for Sri Lanka, but still one or two showers cropping up for the likes of Colombo. Mostly dry for Chennai, but up towards West Bengal, into Bangladesh and Assam. We're set to see plenty more heavy downpours. Here's the outlook in the next five days then. Mumbai, plenty more heavy showers. Dakar looking largely dry and settled. And just a few showers at times for Islamabad. Tashkent, sunny, warm and dry. Showers should ease from New Delhi. Bye-bye. Hello there. The heat has been continuing in Japan. Tokyo has seen nine days above 35 Celsius, a new record there. Things will be turning cooler in Japan as we see a tropical storm, airy, moving its way in from the south. Not a particularly strong storm, but it will bring outbreaks of rain and certainly lower temperatures across much of Japan. We've also got the remnants of ex-tropical cyclone Chaba across the east of China. A lot of heavy rain, as you can see here, pushing up towards the northeast on Tuesday. Heavy down downpours also towards Hong Kong and as we move into the likes of Vietnam and Thailand some heavy showers there. A little bit drier for the Malay Peninsula into Sumatra but for Java towards Sulawesi plenty more heavy showers and thunderstorms. So Osaka looking unsettled with more heavy showers and some thunderstorms around over the next few days. Beijing after a wet day on Tuesday looking drier and hotter. Now across Australia we've had major flooding across parts of New South Wales. Most of the heaviest rain will be across coastal parts of Queensland over the next few days. This is Tuesday. Still some heavy downpours towards Sydney, but not the persistent rain. It'll be more showery in nature. And across to New Zealand, some heavy rain lingering for the North Island. A little bit drier window of weather, at least, down towards the South Island. So Sydney, still some more showers to come. Not as heavy as we have seen, but still major flooding is set to continue. Bye-bye.